be today? Earl Grey? English breakfast? Earl Grey, please. No. I think we'll give you something more exotic. Chamoli. Yes, it will help you with your complexion. Would you like to pass me your cup? No, you're not going to try it? But it's so good. Mmm. Right. Cut it out. Suit yourself. Do you want it? Stop it, Brat. You very well know I can't catch it. No, 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 no. Hey, Roger. Dinner's ready. Oh, great. We're starving. Sleep in the garden Working by the heart end Slept through the world in this racket We might as well laugh about it Morning, brat. Oh, don't you ever sleep in? I can't sleep. I'm busy. I'll put you to sleep. At least you don't need an alarm clock. Mm, yeah. <laughs> See? I'm gonna get rid of that clock. I reckon you'd make a better noise. Probably. You could sing me a song or something. Wake up, brat. Today is the tomorrow you thought about yesterday. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, well, I'm not your bedside accessory. Maybe I should throw you out. Oh, maybe I need to chuck you out. How are you going to do that? Working on it. Won't need the likes of you. Yeah, good luck with those crusty farmers. <laughs> Like you can't get far without me. Hey, hey. <laughs> 
Funny brat. Just because I'm laughing doesn't make it funny. I'll give you something to laugh at. Okay, there was this really protective farmer, right? And he had three daughters. At 5.30 Friday night, there was a knock at the door. The farmer answers it with his shotgun, and the guy at the door says, Hello, my name's Eddie. I'm here for Betty. We're going for spaghetti. Is she ready? And the farmer pauses and then lets him um, go with Betty in tow, and then a little bit later, <laughs> the farmer answers the door again because there was another knock at the door, and the guy at the door um, says, Hello, my name's Joe. I'm here for Flo. We're going to the show. Is she ready to go? The farmer pauses and goes, Yeah, she's ready. And lets her go too. And then about half an hour later, there was another knock at the door, and the guy at the door says, Hello, my name's Chuck. And sorry, then the, sorry, this is not even funny. What are you, Oh, really? I'm... Right at the punchline. No, sorry, I'm just trying to remember a joke. Ah, uh, it's because you've got two beers that you can't remember it. No, don't. Oh, that's not mine. Judge it. Oh. Uh, okay, so tell me. Tell you what? Mm, what? The joke. Oh, no. I don't, no. <laughs> don't want to mm. hear it. You hear it. <laughs> what if it's not funny? It is funny if you tell it. I'll right. pretend that it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay, there's this farmer and there's a knock at the door and he says, Hi, Eddie, are you mm. here for spaghetti? Well, he doesn't know him yet. So. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, that's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. Start. Um, okay. Eddie's at the door and he asks for Betty to come for spaghetti. No. And then there's a Joe and a Flo and they're going to the snow and then... Show. Um, Chuck comes to the door and... <laughs> I'm not the sure. Farmer shoots him. Huh. Yeah, well that is how it ends. <laughs> I'm Guy. Sorry. Or not. <laughs> Your name is. Hi, Charlie. Let's go. Thanks. That was mine. Nice to meet you, Guy. Poisoned. Charlie. Glad we'll never have to see him again. Did you see that tie? Looked like a cat sicked up on it. City folk. Middle! <laughs> Because I know that you've always got my back whenever I need it. Can I wear it? Yeah, sure. Of course I can't wear it. <laughs> you think? Nice. Looks good on you. It's enough! Enough, Charlie! Stop it! Stop talking to yourself! You need help. Now, Charlie, I want you to relax and close your eyes. Now, I want you to pretend that you're floating. Imagine yourself rising up off the couch. You sail around the room. You look down on everyone. It's wonderful. You feel you can go higher. So you 
burst through the front door to freedom. And as you float up into the sky, higher and higher, everything goes very quiet and peaceful. You're in the clouds. You can feel them. And so you lie back and relax. And as you relax, you feel yourself getting sleepy. You let it go through your whole body like a warmth drifting through your veins, you drift off to the soothing tone of my voice. What's your favourite colour, Charlie? Mine too. And how do you like to spend your spare time? Go swimming. How fun. Who's your best friend, Charlie? Hugo. Where's Hugo now? Over there in the corner. Is he an imaginary friend? No, he's my real friend. Then why can't I see him? Only I... Charlie, can... it's because he's not real. Hugo's only pretend. Which is fine for when you're little. But you're a big girl now. Board. Oh, yeah, no. Swimming. You know, Dad won't give us any time off. It's picking season. Well, like some type of season. Yeah, well, that's just the way it is. Stop complaining. Why doesn't Roger get any more helping? Because he doesn't like strangers on the farm. Who's that then? And we could have a little break. Yes! <laughs> nice swimming. Oh. Come on. Uh, you know, my uh, my grandmother lived down in um, Yarrabilly. So I, I lived there till I was eight. Yarrabilly. Oh, yeah. Ah, Guy, it's my daughter Charlie. Yeah, it's good to see you again. Hi. Hi. Uh, we met the other night at the pub. What's Funny Bones doing here? Um, Guy is a pilot for the ABC. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not, I don't actually fly. I'm, um, I'm making a pilot for the ABC. It's like, um, it's like the test episode in a TV series to see if it works. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and the one I'm making is a documentary about single farmers living in remote areas. Um, you know, the relationship they have with the land, so... Sounds boring. Yeah. That, that sounds really interesting. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, um, I guess, like a, uh, like a response to the whole apps, phone apps, dating thing, you know? Uh, like internet dating? Yeah, sort of, yeah. yeah. So what do you want from us? Well, you know, I've got, to, um, I've got to interview some locals and I was hoping that Roger might be interested Wonder why he chose your dad. Yeah, no, no, mate, I, no. I don't think I've got a good face for a camera. Oh, come on, Dad, it'd be great. Yeah, you know, it would air nationally, so who knows, Rog? Right, Roger? Mr. Alderton? Yeah. Alderton's the name of the farm, mate. You tell him, Rog. Ah, uh, right, out. sorry. You OK? Oh, yeah, I'm just, I was just thinking through it. But, um, I think it sounds really great. Yeah, no, sorry, it's not for me, Guy. But, Dad, you haven't even been on one date. Charlie! Sorry to waste your time, all right, mate? We've got a lot on here at the moment. Weather's coming in, we've got to get the cotton in. Yeah, of course, totally understand. It's nice to meet you, Roger. Yeah, all right. I'm really sorry. Look, I didn't mean to get oh, you in trouble. It's fine. Bark's worse than his bite. <laughs> so, um, do you think maybe then I should, um, I should, I should come back again? No. I yeah. Okay. Well, um, I've got a. Uh, that's me. My phone number's on there. So if you. 
Why would you? But if you need anything, just um, give me a bell. Yeah. Okay, take it easy. You take it easy too. Okay. See ya. Bye. 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 Um, why did I have to go outside? You know why you can't do that in front of people? Do you love him? What? No. How, how could I love him? I've only just met him. Yeah, that's what I've always... Yeah, so why don't you say it? It's mm. stupid. Too soon for love. First young bloke you... in town. Yeah, so I don't even know him. Charlie, let's go. Don't want those men in white coats to come and get me, do we? Scoot. Pass me the 22. How long do you think it'll take? Uh, I don't know. I'll get it done today, though. I'll take your ute, then. Where you going? Into town for a bit. You're going to try it for that show? Water pump's gone on one of the headers. Where's your keys? Go on, Dad. It'd be fun. Where's your keys? It's just, just there. So stubborn. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I think I'm more like my mum. Oh, yeah? How's that? Well, I'm funny like her. How do you know? You don't remember her? I remember her. I remember bits of her. You're my subconscious. Get in there and dig some out. I can't just go rummaging around in there like it's Bunnings. You're bloody useless then, aren't you? Oh, Why don't you ask Roger about her? <laughs> Can you pass us the hammer and punch? Oh, sorry. That was a bit shit, wasn't it? It's all right, you can still move things in my world. What does skin feel like? I don't know, it feels like cotton. <laughs> that feels like cotton. Okay, well, it can be rough sometimes and, and then smooth and oily. <laughs> what does that feel like? Uh, it, it feels like when we go swimming in the dam and you get all wet. I oh, bet you can't. OK. Um, it feels like... Uh, it feels like... It feels like when we were climbing that big tree in the back paddock and that storm came in and the wind picked up and you're standing on this branch and you feel like you could fall at any moment and you've got flies in your guts and it's scary and exciting. And but you like it. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I would like that. <laughs> Do you want to choose a movie tonight? Ghost. Not again. Swims? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You got a better joke? You didn't get the last one, so... Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You butchered it. No, I didn't. You just told it badly. Nah, I get it. No, Eddie rhymes with spaghetti. Yeah. And then Joe rhymes with flow and they're going to the show or something. And then Chuck rhymes with... Yeah. See? <laughs> Funny joke. Funny joke now. Isn't it? No! How would I know what it was going to be? I've never... Oh, I've never... Come on. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Can't touch anything? No, try and touch me. Come on. But I see you moving things all the time. That's just you imagining it. It only happens while you're watching. I'll try to fix that. I think Dad's back. You coming? Yep. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you paying? No! I'm just going to hang out here for, for a bit longer. Suit yourself. Guy! Oh, oh, hi. Hi. Uh, um, hi. Sorry, I didn't think hi. anyone was here. Oh, Dad's just gone to town. I'm doing the interviews. <clears throat> Good on you. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm doing the interviews on Wednesday at the pub. Oh. Oh, it's you. Great. Yeah, and I thought I'd ask your dad if he changed his mind, so. Oh, well, thanks, mate. We'll tell him you dropped by. Um, well, you could tell him yourself. I thought you said he wasn't here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could wait here and then you could ask him to come yourself. If, oh. if you don't have any, anything else to do, I just, you know, it's probably better coming from you, actually. You know, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, I'd like that. Cool. I'm sorry. Why? What for? I'm not very interesting. Yes, you are. He isn't. <laughs> My library is the storage part of the book. What? What? Oh, it's uh, <laughs> just like my dad used to say when we moved to a new town. Oh, dumb. Sweet. Thank you. Come on, Brat, we better go. Got work to do. Roger sees you sitting on your ass when he comes back. He'll blow um, his freaking top. How long are you here for? For a week. What was that yeah. rain? Oh, if the rain turned in. You OK? Yeah, I just thought I was going to sneeze. Oh, um, there you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's nice. Sorry. It's really weird being back here. What do you mean? I'm from here. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Um, I grew up at Yarrabilla. Um, but really? Yeah, yeah. My dad and I, we moved when I was pretty young, so... Oh. Yeah. Well, why would anyone want to move away from here? <laughs> well, I think it's got its perks. Hey, do you that keep that out of help really me? It was like, beautiful. Oh, sorry. You want to There's just an old suit uh, of my dad. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's no, really but I nice. Did. Hey, I can I take you to dinner, please? Dinner. Yeah. Uh, so um, I need someone to help me with paperwork. And uh, and the truth is, I can't get anyone to talk to me. They um, uh, don't fit in anymore. Ah, uh, well, farmers are pretty tough butts to crack. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, they probably think you're a bit of a yuppie on account of your suit. You just said you like the suit. 
No, I do. But I just... I mean, do I look like a crusty farmer? No, you do not. Uh, so, tonight? Seven o'clock. I'll pick you up. Okay. Pub? There's, <laughs> There's nowhere, nowhere else to go. Else to go. <laughs> Um, hey, also, do you think, um, do you think you could work on your dad for me? I think he'd be really good. Yeah, sure. Great. Um, see you then, then. See you later. Oh, your hanky. Oh, no. Keep it. See ya. You sent me away. Yeah, well, you were being really annoying. So what? You just get rid of me. I'm not your puppet. No, like that. Even best friends need some time apart. You promised you'd never send me away again. Well, you didn't again. give me much of a choice. You don't know what it's like. Why don't you just ask me to get lost? I couldn't just tell my imaginary friend to get lost in front of Guy, could I? Why not? Because people who do that get locked up, and I'm not going to let that happen. Fine. Fine. You need to grow up. No. Charlie, do you love your dad? Yes. And you don't want the men in white coats to come and take you away from him, do you? No. So you'd better stop believing in imaginary friends. I'm going to count down from three. When you hear one, you'll wake up. You will not see Hugo anymore. You do not need Hugo. Hugo is not real. Do you understand, Charlie? Three, two, Guess we're not watching a movie. I've got to go and help Guy find some locals to talk to. Guess you don't want me there, then. No, I'm going to do it by myself. It's no big deal. We're just going to the pub. Why are you putting on lipstick, then? Doesn't hurt to make a good impression, does it? You look nice. <laughs> don't make me kiss you. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. What time did he say? Oh, now, I guess. Will you be having dinner there? Yeah, probably. What sort? I think it's like lamb tonight or something. Is it? Entrees? Yeah, maybe. Where?
Hi. Hi. <laughs> Uh, am I early? No, I'm ready to go. Oh, cool. Um, you've, um, you just, uh, you missed... What? Uh, don't, don't, you can do it in the car. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, you should definitely talk to Bill Mack. He's like, he's about 85. He's never been married. He doesn't have a but girlfriend. Yo, I remember this guy. Um, he's a little touched, right? Like, he, he mumbles to himself all the time. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. He's just a bit lonely, I think. Yeah, well, everyone's got a story. Him on the pile. On the pile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing here? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, <laughs> what? Why are you here? Um, Why did you come here? Because, okay, um, I'm intrigued. It's because, okay, this is like the most connected time in history, right? Where you can get anything you want with the click of a mouse, just gets yeah. delivered to your house. And that includes love. I mean, half my <laughs> friends met their partners online and, mm. and then got this other community and, you're so isolated, and I, I want to know what makes you tick. Yeah. Lots of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess, I guess it seems like it might be hard. Yeah. Sometimes. Mm. And and people say that farmers are really hot, <laughs> even if they are tough butts to crack. That's not the same. You said it just the You've totally stitched me out. Wow. <laughs> hey, Rog. I kicked off. So why do you think so many of these guys are still single? It's like, okay, uh, so this is you. My beer's you, and, and this is your farm, and you're driving around by yourself late at night, and you're miles away from home, and, and then the ute breaks down. What are you gonna do? Fix the ute. Yeah, fix the ute. It's like, in rural communities, people don't just discard things. They, they make what they have work, mm -hmm. even if what they have is no one. What they have is loneliness. And it's beautiful. And it's a little sad. Um, we should talk to Bob as well. He's a bit quiet, but I think he'd be good. Sure. Oh, great. I'm going to need some manly advice, mate. See, I've got this friend who likes this girl, you don't know her, but it's like she doesn't take him seriously. It's like, how do you show a girl that you're man enough for her? Or do you just keep it cool and let her come to you? Mm. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah. Weird. You must meet all kinds of people at your work. Um, it's just so exciting and so glamorous and everyone's beautiful. It's not glamorous. It's so it's, much fun. It's fun, it's fun, but it's 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 long hours and it's mm. crappy pay, it's lots of admin. Oh yeah, but you get to wear a suit, don't you? So Okay, stop. Tell me. You gotta tell me. What is with the suit thing? Nothing. Liar. What's with the Nothing. suit thing? Tell me. Oh, no. OK, OK, you have, you have to promise not to laugh. I promise. 
I, um, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. out of all the jobs that I possibly could have had, what do you think I wanted to be? Uh, princess. Yeah. Um, firewoman. Ah, weirder. Uh, Care Bear. Care Bear? You said weirder. Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> HR. What? I wanted to work in HR. Like, like human resources? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was obsessed. I used to, I used to do all my dad's filing and paperwork and I'd write reports about how the dogs were supposed to behave and I'd interview all my toys. None of them were ever qualified. It was really <laughs> that's you cute. You would laugh at me. That's cute. <laughs> no, it's lame. I know it's that not. it's lame. It's not. No. <laughs> I just really wanted to work in an office and wear a suit. Those suits get really uncomfortable after a while. Yeah, I wouldn't care. My mum, she used to advise companies on managing farmers moving into the workplace. So she'd go into the city and we'd stay in hotels and get those little shampoo bottles and tell all the men what to do and everyone would listen to her. I just think. Suits get you treated like royalty. It's lame. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should. We should get Jack T. Oh, yeah. He gets drunk every weekend and he runs down the main street naked. Brilliant. I like to do that too. So <laughs> we could spend the night together. <laughs> oh, okay. Too. Okay. <laughs> No, you give these guys enough beer, they'll do anything. You can get interviewed. That, that idea about the bar tabs is a stroke of genius. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to work tomorrow. I wish I could see it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you something really embarrassing? Absolutely. Okay, brilliant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when, um, I may have had a, a bit of a crush on you. Did we know each other? Oh, barely. I was a bit older, but, uh, but there was one day when we were at the pub and you were inside and I was outside playing and I wanted to come in and grab you and I went in to see if I could come outside and play. And I kissed you. You didn't seem to like it much though, so. <laughs> Jesus, Charlie. Cold, Rog?
How'd you go? Fine. Yeah. Just wanted to say you got an MRI. Wrong. You sent me away again. No, I didn't. It was cold. It was really cold this time. Diego, I promised you I didn't send you away. I was never supposed to go back. I wasn't supposed to go back there. I didn't send you to that place. It was Guy then. He made you send me. No, no you're being ridiculous. I would never tell Guy about you. Because you're ashamed of me. I don't want you seeing him again. Well, that's not your decision. I don't care. I'm telling you that. Oh, yeah? And how are you going to stop me? Thank you. 